Hello, Creative Sarah here, and I am creating with our It's October Witches Transfer. Check it out. Broom hair, don't care. That's what this says. I'm going to go ahead and paint these little cutouts with some bright white chalk paste. First, I spray with water just to make it go on a little smoother, and also we're going to do kind of a whitewash effect, so it's not going to be stark white, but it will be um, like a whitewash. So first I'm painting that, then we have to get that dry. I'll use our quick dry tool. And once that's finished, we can do some chalking and get it assembled and embellished. So we are just waiting for it to get dried right now. And you wanna make sure it's completely dry. There we go. That's looking pretty good, okay. So now I'm gonna write back on the backer sheet and peel it off like a sticker. I am gonna fuzz it on our fuzzing cloth. So I'm just putting a little lint on the back so it is not super sticky. Um, and it just, um, you're just gonna peel it and stick it back and peel it and stick it back, easy. And then I will kind of lay it on a light board or I use the My Light app on my iPad just to see through. You can see through so much nicer that way and line up those um, cutouts with the transfer. Now here I'm going to use some shimmer shadow paste. It's a very glittery and that's a shimmer plum and then of course we have shimmer pumpkin. So all three of these colors are super great Halloween colors and they are glittery and shimmery and I love them. So just going to squeegee over the silk screen there on parts of this with our shimmer shadow which is our black and then I'm going to use some of the shimmer pumpkin on the broom get that done and lastly the words don't care are going to be shimmer plum and everything's going to be sparkly and awesome I'm very excited okay so next I'm going to peel and reveal what this actually looks like hold it down look at that it's so cool and it's so shimmery okay now we need to dry this we want to make sure it's completely dry before we try to assemble anything Okay, it's dry, let's go. So we're gonna set these in here. I'm gonna get my hot glue gun um, and I'm gonna add some embellishments. So first I have these really cool ribbons. I have kind of layered them and I wanna do the dovetail cut and I wanted it to match so I lined it up and cut it. And then these are gonna be tied together with a little bit of my black baker's twine. So I'm kind of rolling it, folding it, squishing it up and tie it right in the middle. I will end up using that baker's twine as part of the decor piece. So I'm gonna leave the edges or the um, ends kind of long so that we can um, kind of get it shaped out. It looks like a little bow, like on your hair, broom hair, get it? Don't Broom hair don't care. And here, I'm just kind of like unraveling the the baker's twine here. Um, I kind of like to have it a little bit fluffier and not so um, put together, you know, to make it a little more, I don't know, interesting. So there we go. We got a little bit of detail in there and I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that as well. Everything will just kind of get glued onto my five by five box frame. It's actually a double sided box frame. So I do have another design on the back that is more of a black and gray design. Both are Halloween so I can put it in my Halloween display that you can see from both sides. So it's very cool. And broom hair don't care. Look how cute. Awesome. Follow me for more ideas.